Welcome to Framework Fortune. I'm your host, Ben, and in this video, we're going to talk about candles. If you're new to day trading, you've probably got your chart set up, but you have no idea what's going on. You don't understand what these green and red sticks are, or bars, or whatever you want to call them, but they're candlesticks and we're gonna dive right into it and hopefully by the end of this video you have a much better understanding so stick around to the end of the video so you don't miss anything and we're gonna start with these two candles right here in the middle this big green one and this big red one now what do these candles represent they represent the buying and selling in a time period and this is a five minute chart so each candle is going to represent a five minute time period now, what are the parts of a candle? Well, the thick part in the middle is the body. And the body is everything that is between the open and the close. So how do we know what the open and the close is on these candles? We have to understand that a green candle represents buying. Pretty obvious, right? So that means it would open at the bottom of the body. So when the candle opens up right here, Buyers would have come in eventually and pushed it up within that five minute time frame, making it a green candle. And then of course, if the open is the bottom of the body of a green candle, then the close is going to be the top of the body, right? Same thing with a red candle, except it's the opposite because you have sellers. So the price of the stock will be going down. So your open is going to be at the top of the body right here and your close, the stock price is dropping, would be at the bottom of the body of the red candle. And we'll take a look at a live example so you can see what I mean here in just a little bit. Now, what are these skinny things? These are the wicks. And that's where the price moved between the open and the close. And it happened to go uh, right here on the screen candle. This wick is your high wick. The top of the wick is the high of this five minute period. So that means it opened up and pushed up there at some point, but sellers pushed it down until it closed there. So that means your bottom wick is going to be the low. So what probably happened was this opened up right at the bottom of the body. Sellers tried to push it down. So it turned red right here. This would have been a red candle because here would have been the open. So sellers would have pushed it down. And then buyers came back in, they rejected the selling and pushed it back up. So once it went above the open, it turned green and pushed all the way up. And they pushed it to this point here to that high of the wick and then the sellers pushed it back down to the close. So on this red candle, since the open is right here, that means it probably pushed up and turned green for a second and then sellers came back in and said, nope, we're pushing this down. So they pushed it down and it pushed below the open price of this red candle and it dropped and as soon as it did that it would have turned red and it dropped all the way to here. No buyers came in to push this up at all so it closed right there at the end of that five minute period. So if you understand these candles then you will be able to understand the story that they're telling you of price action. So we're going to take a look at a live candle right now. So as you can see, we have a stock right now that's live and in about 10 seconds, the next candle is going to open up and we're going to pay attention to that, to which way it goes. So you guys can really understand the open and the close. So you can see it was pushing up and now we opened. So we opened right here and you saw it push down. So it turned red. If it pushes above that, it's going to turn green and you can see it's starting to push above there. Now it did have a quick little drop, but buyers pushed it straight up. And now you can see it's a little fight between the buyers and the sellers. Each candle, like I said, is a representation of the buying and the selling. And this is actually a one minute chart. So this candle is going to open and close within a minute. Each candle right now only represents one minute. So now we're back on the five minute chart. We're going to take a look at this and see if we can figure out which direction this stock is going to go. So you can see there was a lot of buying right in the morning, pushed it all the way up. We got a high right here. This would have been the pre-market high. And then what, mean, what does that big upper wick mean? It means the sellers took over and pushed this down. And you can see after they did that, after you got this long wick, this long wick of selling pressure, the price actually dropped down over the next few candles. 
but it ended up holding up right in this area because it dropped down to there and buyers pushed it back up and then it dropped down some more and buyers pushed it back up a little bit there and so it would have opened right here even lower and it started dropping some more but then buyers pushed it up again and so it went all the way up to right here at the top of this red candle so we see the sellers push it down again and they pushed it down to this level again where the buyers came back before and pushed it up and the buyers did that again so this time the buyers pushed it all the way up and actually pushed it through this high right here and it pushed all the way up to here so we actually got a new high right here it sold off again you see a lot of selling pressure came in there and the buyers and the sellers kind of negotiated for a while and it started going sideways and then it ended up pushing down to right here but you can see here it ended up holding up and then it pushed up to this other high again now at this point if I hide the rest of the if I hide the chart and we're looking at it right here what do we see we see a low low the same low and then a higher low now what do we see for the highs we'll take that off that's not anything but here's a high and a high so we have higher highs so we have higher lows and higher highs so we'll take these little lines off here for those lows and highs that we're showing and we will connect the higher lows and we'll connect the higher highs now what does that look like it's doing what direction does it look like it's going it looks like it's pointing upward and of course you can see when you have higher lows and higher highs on these candles the stock is showing upward momentum and you can see it broke the high right here and went on a very nice run so let's take a look at another stock you can see right here this stock buyers came in pushed it up it got hang got hung up in this area you can see that there got a high there then it dropped back down and it didn't really build any support in this area because this wick was lower than this wick and then this wick was lower than this wick so we could see that the selling pressure was dropping off and the buyers were winning to see this push up so then we got this high up here so then the sellers said that's too high and they pushed the price all the way back down to this area so now we have a kind of a support area where multiple candlesticks have closed at right along there so there's our low so we've got two highs so far and we have a low but we didn't make a higher high this is the next kind of upward movement and it didn't get as high as this one did if we connect those tops like that what are we showing a downtrend so with that downtrend if we move over and look you can see the stock went down sold off so just by looking at these candles we were able to tell the general direction of the stock and you got a nice big sell off here so you can use all the indicators you want but unless you understand the candles and the price action then those indicators are going to be useless so this is one of the most important things that you're going to have to learn to be a successful day trader is reading the candles and the charts and the price action so i hope you have a better understanding now if you have any questions just leave them in the comments below Please hit that like button. It helps with the YouTube algorithm. I'd really appreciate it. I'm your host, Ben. You've been watching Framework Fortune. Hey, guys, if you want to learn more about day trading and supply and demand, be sure to click the video right up here.